Hey, look at this. More digging. More dirt. <sighs> More trenches. Yeah. It's beautiful, right? Oh, look. But it's not Chris. Putting this conduit in. Duke Energy asked for this. Because uh, I'm going to get them to get power to the house. He's digging those out. If you saw the short. You know, Chris is off working on stuff at his place. Start gluing this conduit together and get it in there for Duke. Said it has to be uh, 28 inches minimum covers. We went three feet. So you got all of the three inch laid out and glued, push it over into the trench and I've got to check and see how they want me to leave it at the end of the transformer. But over here, we're going to turn it up so it can go up into the CT cabinet that will be put on the side of the house tomorrow. There you go. Yeah, came out pretty good. See, so he's got a shovel. So you know that's not Chris. Today, doing a little electrical work. Gonna mount the generator transfer switch. This is a 400 amp transfer switch. Two disconnects in it. 
uh, Floyd Price down at Wilmington hooks me up. Our uh, Greenfield Energy, I believe, is now. I know it's Greenfield, but I can't remember if it's energy or generators, but I'll pop up the information. They've always taken care of it. They're great if you need a generator. CT cabinets going on the back. Transfer switch over there. We got some conduit to do. Stuff goes in. We got a panel, 200 amp in the house down here. There'll be another 200 amp upstairs. And then there's a disconnect panel out here that ends up going and feeding the pool 200 amp lots of power that's the ct cabinet from duke energy they come in and do all their connections for the 600 amp service and there'll be a little uh there's a meter box too that we have to slide in here somewhere so we're hiding all that in there you know because there'll be some bushes and stuff here i mean you'll still be able to get back there to it but you won't really see it and that we're covering up where we uh where we mess around with different bricks. Gotta check this out. Something cool I picked up last week. So you put a hole in it, you put that on one side, you put that piece on this side. Rooster. Good? Yeah. Uh, now you got a nice hole.
those are where I put the sleeves and up there is where we've been core drilling. So this other one, Michael drilling is going to pop out up there. So that's why I'm not even bothering with uh, sleeves anymore because they're never exactly where you want them anyway. So this panel, we were going to set two down here, but now we got the one panel for this part of the house, 200 amp. And then another one's going up in the laundry room, uh, which is upstairs in that half of the house, 200 amps. And 200 amps is coming through there, which this feed goes through there and goes off to the pool house the pump room all right let's see how we ended up these are the i was talking about the unistrut brackets so you can clamp it well, that's done that's just the wiring we went ahead and put an outlet at each sub panel so that after we get power you know we got something to plug into that we're working off of since the little temp power pole way over there will be gone. Let's go look at how we ended up in the pool pump room. Actually, let's take a look down here first. All right, so that's the feed that goes to the pool. Uh, be buried under, that'll all be under concrete. That's that one sleeve that we're gonna cover up. And then that goes, and so that's the LBC outside that ends up feeding it into that little uh, sub panel. That's the disconnect panel. That's that 200 amp feed, and then that's 200 amp that'll take care of this side of the house and that box here has four ot in it and that will uh reduce down to four gauge uh to feed the office i just i had the wire so we just went ahead with the it's okay to be big or not smaller so that'll feed the office sub panel that right there that doesn't have anything connected to it that'll be the feed that goes up to the other 200 amp panel that'll be in the laundry room. And then that's the LB that's coming off. Both of those are coming off of the um, generator transfer switch. So 200 amp each, and that one feeds that panel. All right, the pool pump room. So that's our sub panel. And then, so this goes into the basement where we saw, where you saw the, uh, the conduit in the ground in the floor of the basement so that comes out here that comes over feeds this 200 amp panel we've got an outlet in here and we've got one inch feed over here that feeds the pin tear because the pin tear is a sub panel so the pin tear is actually meant to be its own panel and all you would need so you know you put your breakers through here so this has a transformer built into it that will run the salt generator for the lower pool. And then we've got to set another transformer that will do the salt generator for the upper pool. And then it also controls all the lights and it controls the pumps. So we've got three pumps, variable speed pumps, and they will all connect uh, into this panel. And then we'll control them through the Pentair app. So the reason we did a sub panel is because I'm going to set a uh, geothermal uh, heat exchanger down here and uh, we'll have a little lighting control panel too for any lights and stuff we do out here. Uh, we've got some conduits to go out here. So anything we need on, anything else we need to add down here, we've got enough power to do it. All right, everybody, thanks for following along on this video. I know it was a little, I got bedhead. I know it was a little uh, disjointed as it was filmed over a couple weeks. And uh, that's a lot how a lot of the video footage I've got right now. Got a lot of different projects going on, different people working. And instead of piecemealing it all where it just gets really boring, I'm trying to have something closer to completion before we show it. Appreciate everybody. Happy New Year. We will be doing a live uh, New Year's Eve if the weather holds out. It's looking dicey right now so we'll see but if it works out we'll be doing a live uh, like we do try to do every new year's and uh fourth of july with fireworks and everything so hope to see you there talk to you soon the feet are happening to go off while i was standing here i mean it's almost january and the fish are still jumping to get food so that's good